Hi, my name's Claire and I make videos twice a week. One vlog video and the other one kind of motherhood or lifestyle video. This video is going to be all things postpartum related. So my journey and how I've been getting on with it and different aspects of it. So for a little bit of background, I have a four month old son, Samuel. Um, so that's where I am in the journey. Um, my birth uh, with him, I've done a video on this for more detail, but my birth with him, I had an episiotomy. So there's going to be talk of that and talk about the recovery of that as well. So the first thing I want to kind of talk about is the healing process um, after having an episiotomy. For those of you that don't know, an episiotomy is when they actually um, use a knife and cut you down there so that it helps your baby come out. Um, it's to reduce the risk of tearing, which can be more traumatic um, with a di more difficult recovery time. Um, so that's why they do that in the first place. Um, for me, afterwards, it was painful so I got stitches internal and external and within um they were dissolvable so within I think it was a week or two all the stitches were gone um but I was still obviously healing down there um the my bleeding lasted about six weeks um after my six week appointment the bleeding completely stopped and I did feel healed down there you know um for all intents and purposes um Along with that, I wanted to talk a bit about sex. Obviously, that's something that, like after having a baby, you know, you wonder, will you be ready for it? Will you, uh, will it be painful? You know, will it feel the same? So for us, we waited until my bleeding had completely stopped and um, we waited till after my six week appointment um, just to make sure everything was okay. Um, we took our time, um, you know, and made sure I felt ready and it was sore I think because of like the scar tissue and things down there um but so it took you know quite a few attempts for it to like you know feel normal again um but now four months later it feels completely normal everything does go back to how it's meant to be um and yeah it's just to put anybody's mind at ease after having an episiotomy things do go back to normal I mean it is painful at the beginning and it does take some time and you need to you know take your time you know make sure you just if you need to stop just stop you know no pressure whatsoever just do everything at your own pace um and it does go back to normal which is fantastic news for for everybody out there so another big part of your postpartum journey is moods and um you know how you're you're feeling day to day um the you know you kind of hear about the the three third day people kind of take a dip um and have the baby blues you know as it is traditionally called i didn't actually have that i don't think um i was on a complete high for quite a while but then um maybe a couple of weeks after giving birth my mood started to kind of swing quite drastically in the sense that one minute i could be so happy and then next minute I could be really, really sad crying my eyes out, you know, for no reason, for something like the shower, or the, the ran out of hot water or whatever, you know, um, just trivial things would really set me off. But then an hour later I could be back on a high. So it was really, really strange mood swings. And they, I asked my partner about this before this video and he was saying they probably lasted on and off for about a month. Um, until my moods kind of evened out I guess my hormones with the breastfeeding with having a baby all that kind of stuff my body just kind of started to get used to those hormone levels and things um but yeah that was a bit uh tricky to kind of navigate um because usually you know everybody feels down sometimes but you know I am quite a positive person and having those drastic mood swings was really unusual for me um so I'm glad that I'm back to normal now and um yeah at the time my partner was just really supportive he kind of uh, left me to it if I was feeling pretty down you know looked after Samuel I mean the thing through all of this like I never stopped wanting to hold Samuel or you know I, I didn't have any kind of bad aspects of that relationship um that was always really strong and really positive and really loving um, which I, you know, I, it was really good, you know, that would have been terrible if, 
if anything would have happened with that relationship. Um, but I guess uh, what I would say is, if you do feel anything like that, talk to somebody. We have a health visitor in Scotland that comes to visit us, and in every visit she asks, how you doing, how's your mood, you know. She watches you when you're interacting with your child to make sure that she doesn't pick up on any of the warning signs. Um, also, if you've got family around or your partner, you know, talk to them, talk to them, tell me how you're feeling. If I was feeling a bit down, I would say to Laurie, I'm, I'm you know, I'm not feeling great today. Um, you know, or, or, you know, this is really getting me down. I don't know why, but we would talk about it, we would laugh about it if we could, you know. Um, so that's a big thing. Talk about any kind of feelings that you're having. The next big part of postpartum is your baby weight. <laughs> I know this is like a very um, difficult topic because, you know, a, but, you know, weight loss can be quite triggering as well. For me, um, I'm breastfeeding, so my I am gradually losing the weight that um, I put on. I can now fit back. I think it took about two and a half, maybe three months. I can fit back into the jeans that I used to wear, um, but they're really tight still. Uh, they, I still actually feel them quite tight. Um, so I guess it's just going to take time for, for my body to go back to normal. I'm eating pretty healthy, I'm walking all the time. I take Samuel out uh, without fail for a walk every single day. Um, and I'm just trying to keep active and I'm sure the weight will go off and, and you know, I'll be back to my postpart, my previous weight. Um, you know, I'm not in any rush for it. I just really want my clothes to start fitting me again. Um, but I think that as long as you're healthy about it, it's um, it shouldn't be too bad. But for me, my jeans are tight and um, yeah, it'll just take a bit longer, I guess, for things to go back to normal. I'll insert a picture of, um, you know, how I, I, I'm kind of looking just now, uh, four, week, four, four months postpartum. Another kind of, um, like side effect to having Samuel that I've noticed um, is my skin changed. So I don't know if this is everybody, but my skin um, is extremely, extremely dry. And it, it's not just like winter dryness, it's like extreme. You know, um, you, I'm slathering on body butter um, every single day, really thick um, body butter, but it's, it's just still really, really dry. It's not like anything I've experienced before. Like on my tummy, it's really dry skin. On my breast, it's really dry skin. Um, hopefully that kind of goes away over time, but that's something that I've noticed that's not went away yet. Um, and I'm four months in, so um, hopefully I'll just keep adding moisturizer and moisturizer and my skin will kind of balance itself out. I'm not sure if it's a hormonal thing or not, um, but it's uh, it can be quite itchy sometimes. And, um, it's something that I'm just trying to deal with myself at the moment. I guess if it doesn't go away, I'll need to go and speak to the doctor. But yeah, that's quite an unusual one that I've not really heard a lot of people talking about. Um, I'm, and I'm not sure if it is a, a common one or not. The last one I wanted to talk about was hair loss. Now, hair loss is, um, is something that I have never experienced before. Um, while I was pregnant, my hair just kind of stopped falling out and it was really luscious and it was just lovely. Um, and since I've had Samuel, I didn't notice at the beginning. Um, so for the first, first maybe two months or so, um, I didn't notice any additional hair coming out. But for month three and month four, uh, like carrying on into month four, um, I really notice it. So like I notice it here at the sides of my hair. Um, it's a lot thinner, you know, the clumps are coming out in the shower and the hairbrush and it's, um, it can be pretty traumatic, um, but that is completely normal. Everything I've read says it's completely normal. Um, trying not to worry about it too much. Uh, and because apparently within like the year, your hair should be back to normal, you know, the way it was before you got pregnant. So I'm just hoping that that happens quite soon because, um, it's, you know, it's weird your hair falling out and the, the, the way that it does after having a baby. It's really strange. Um, and yeah, I I don't know. I, I'm just something, it's something I'm not used to. So I hope that stops and um, my hair starts to grow back. I would even rather have the wee sticky bits, sticky wee bits. So I know that that's starting to happen. My hair's starting to grow back, but at the moment it's still falling out in clumps. Um, I'm not sure how long that's gonna go on for, uh, but fingers crossed it stops soon. 
So that's where I am four months after giving birth to my little boy Samuel. Um, if you've got any questions, please let me know and I will see you in my next video. Bye!